Hey guys, welcome back. In the last lecture, we worked on the bookings uh, index section into the admin dashboard. Okay, into the admin namespace. Okay, now in this lecture, we will add uh, Rensex search gem to search through bookings and okay, and using search through all the association like uh, through customers and through workshops. Okay, so let's start doing that. Okay, however, uh, I just wanted to let you know that uh, for Rensex search implementation, I already published couple of videos onto the channel already one in the, one you can find inside the bootcamp series and one you can find outside the bootcamp series and that is for a rail 7 video okay now in this lecture what we need to do we first need to go find for the range 6 search gem so go to the new tab and search for range 6 gem okay and you can find this link okay so go to this link and you will see the entire setup guide for the range search okay so now you can see that range search will easily help you for searching your rails application okay and you can see this is the installation guide you just need to add this gem into your gem file however i already added this so i'm not going to add okay let me show you my gem file okay so this is my gem file and i already added this range gem okay and now you can see this is the documentation link here okay so click on this link and when you click on this link you will find that there is some introduction about the gem okay and there is a getting started guide for this gem as well okay so we're gonna use this gem into the simple mode okay so here you can see what we need to do into our controller that we need to do it something like this okay so we already defined a booking controllers index section okay so first let's come to the bookings controller index section and here what we need to do at the rate q equal to booking dot rensec and then params q this q is a parameter for making the query string okay however if you wish you can configure this at any customized name of your choice okay and now what we need to do here that we need to change this at the bookings collection okay we need to do here at the q dot result okay and then dot includes customer and workshop okay so we did that and now we need to implement the ui okay so you can see that default search options are given your search parameters and string search okay so now let's start implementing the form for it okay so just to copy this form that is mentioned here okay so we copied this and now let's switch to the index.html.drb of bookings and on to the table let's add a card element so div class it's a card and add some margin from top to bottom md5 and md5 and let's close this card okay and inside this card let's implement give class card body okay and then now into this body we need to submit our yes we need to paste our search form okay now first what we need to do you can see that it is showing search form for at the rate queue now we know that by default the range check search forms never consider any namespace okay but we are implementing it into a namespace controller so what we need to do we need to explicitly mention the url here okay so we can mention let's say url and then admin dashboard sorry admin bookings and then path okay and now we need to style this form with bootstrap components okay so here you can see what we can do let's say first add a, a row class here give class row okay and then find it and into this row class let's add give class call lg3 sorry and then another, sorry let's add call lg4 okay so we added call ng4 and now here what you can do more just paste this and inside this call ng4 class what you need to do next div class form group okay and then add another form group and copy this form group and paste it into every call ng4 okay so you can do it here and we can do the same thing here as well okay and now what we need to do next that we need to define these form fields into this form group area okay so first paste this here and correct the indentation and here what we can do order number ok 
it's a search through booking order number so we can provide order number okay and then order number call so okay so order number contains will be here okay and now what we can do is the next thing that uh, paste it here again sorry and here what we can do let's say amount paid okay and then amount paid eq okay this should be if the amount paid is equal to that amount that we are searching for okay so amount paid eq and eq and quant are the search measures here quant means contains okay and eq means equality okay the amount equals to the amount we submitted okay and now here you can make amount paid eq okay and you can do the same thing for let's say amount less than eq ltq and here you can ltq and you can do the same thing for gtq as well so gtq is greater than or equal to okay so gtq and save this okay and now refresh your browser okay but before refreshing your browser you need to remove this okay because we do not have any article association in our application as well so we might get error okay so now let's save this and refresh your browser at webinary and see this you will see that uh, this is the form that we can see into this card element okay now we need to add form control classes to these elements as well okay so let's add this classes here so class and then form control okay and here you can just copy the same class and you can paste it for rest of the attributes okay so you can paste it here save it and now refresh browser again you can see we have better style form now okay and now uh, let's say uh, add a bootstrap class to this button as well. let's say class etn primary save it and refresh the browser again okay and you will see okay so there are some error we need to remove this comma okay and now submit refresh your page again and you will see okay so button class has been added so let's add some margin from form so let's say mt4 sorry mt4 and save this and refresh your browser now okay so you can see this it looks much better now and you can also do the same thing for customers and booking workshop as well okay so let's copy this row okay and we will do for customers now so let's paste it and here you can check it's a customer name okay so what you can do here customer name full name contains customer full name count okay and then what you can do here is next let's say customer email okay so you can use customer email count here okay, and now you can do the same thing for customer contact okay okay let's fix this typo okay now you what you can do customer contact number count customer contact number count okay save this and now let's remove this extra because we don't need that okay and we don't need this extra. save it and now you can again see this okay so here are the customer attributes that you can find you can search through okay now let's separate these attributes by its model name okay so let's add a line here let's say h1 h4 tape and here what you can add let's say search from 
putting attributes attributes okay and you can do the same thing for customer as well so just copy this line and you can paste it here okay sorry it should be customer attributes okay and then paste this here search from booking attributes okay so just replace this booking by b by capital b and now paste it here and now refresh the browser okay and you can see the separation search from booking attributes search from customer attributes and now let's add some margin classes from top so that would be much better now okay so or let's keep this outside the room say mp2 mp3 and mb3 okay and similarly for this let's keep this heading outside the row here as well okay okay and add some margin classes here so mp3 mb3 okay save it and now you can see something much better here okay so you can see there is a separation okay so similarly you can do the same thing for the workshop attributes as well like you can consider like uh, workshop title registration fees and uh, workshop start date workshop end date workshop end time and workshop uh, start time okay and i will mention it here okay and i will design that form and submit to the repository so you can get it from there okay but for now let's try to see whether our search works or not okay so you can see first the search through the booking details let's say just copy this booking number and paste it here let's say order number and then click on the search okay so when you click you can see that there is one record that means our search is working for the booking number okay now let's search for the amount equals to 7500 okay so let's remove it and 7500 okay this will find all the bookings whose amount paid is equal to 7500 okay so now you can see you have we have only one booking attribute for that okay now what we need to find that uh, is less than or equal to so less than or equal to 5000 so let's click on it okay you can see that we have only one booking which amount is less than or equal to 5000 okay now let's do the same try to do the same thing for amount greater or equal than so let's say we try to find we are trying to find all the bookings whose amount is greater than 500 5000 okay so when you click on search you can see now all the bookings with amount paid greater than 5000 okay now let's do this search for customer okay so here you can see we have Ravi Singh Kashyap and Kapil Singh Gujar okay so let's Try to search for Kapil Singh user. So copy this name and paste it inside the customer name. Okay. And when you do this, you can click on the search and you can see that all the bookings with matching with this user you can find here. Okay. And now let's say we gonna search for let's say Ravi at the red example.com. Sorry, let's make it example.com and click on the search okay so you can see there is no booking with such id okay so now what we can do that uh, if uh, something is not found then we can set the alert message here like uh, the bookings with required or uh, submitted parameters does not found into the database and you can improve your user experience as well okay so for this lecture this is enough okay and you can try working with uh, workshop attributes in this range check form at your end okay else i will push the code into the repository and add the link to the commit or the project repo into the description of the lecture and you can find it from there okay so i hope you like this and you get more better idea about how to use range check jam with associated models as well okay so let's try this at your end and we will meet into another lecture with pagination till then try everything at your end and tata goodbye take care and stay safe